Greetings! Coming to you here from the new LGR office as it is uh, slowly coming together. Got a lot more work to do, but in the meantime, I got more games and stuff to find at thrift stores. It's such a great time of year to go thrifting. Spring, everybody's doing their cleaning and all that stuff, so let's put on the old camera glasses and uh, let's go thrifting. <music> On to this goodwill first, because I choose so. Such power. And the inside of it looks like it might actually be a, set up a little bit differently in the back, but we'll get over there after I look at the puzzles and board games, and I'm glad I did, because hey, there's a copy of Test Drive Off-Road here. The CD-ROM Classics version, not the original big box, is sealed though, which is kind of interesting. I already have all sorts of versions of this though. What I don't have is this right here, Mega Traveler 1, the Zodani Conspiracy. This is the PC version, and it's in pretty decent shape. Everything's inside side of the box. I only had this for the Atari ST, so I'll be grabbing this. This is not a very common find, actually. Ooh, check that out. That's a Hoover. I mean, just like a Hoover. <laughs> it probably, uh, well, it probably sucks just as much today as it did back then, which is a good thing, I think. Vacuums? And uh, then there's some gold things. Well, <laughs> it appears to be two golden hedgehogs with pink horns? For some reason, I think they were supposed to be party hats at, at one point or another, sold at Target, but uh, they broke off and now they're just horny. Walking towards the electronics and happened to see the PC game thingy sticking out. This is Las Vegas Super Casino, something or other by Swift. Man, this is, uh, it's Y2K okay. Mmm, it uh, hits all the right spots for me, just for really crappy software that I like to collect. Oh my, it looks like the back of the store is open. I'm always tempted to go back there and like scrounge through those blue bins, but you know, whatever, you can't do that. You just don't do that. You, you know, you don't work here, so yeah, I can't do it. But I always wonder like what's back there? You know, there's gotta be some things that, anyway. So here, this this caught my attention because it, it's a brown case, it's blue, neat little Coronet Super 12 typewriter. I just like the color scheme. It reminds me of like this old foot massager thing we had as a kid, I don't know. Mmm, and I see something highly intriguing, but probably not of much interest, except to me. This is a Sony something or other, it's a clock radio and whatnot, but this design just caught my eye for several reasons. I mean, it just looks neat, but on the front there, it's, it says black light? Like, seriously? Is, is it like a black light? I don't know. I couldn't get much to work on it, though. I mean, the tuner kind of did a thing, but uh, man, it's just it's captivating. It just, just sucks you right into it. You can't resist. Can't resist this either. This is a JVC graphic equalizer, an SEA 66 model, it looks like. And man, you know, I want a graphic equalizer, especially for those really cool uh, graphic equalization features. And, well, anyway, the display and stuff, it looks neat. You know, VFDs and whatnot, and all these cool light up switches. It didn't look to be working quite right, though. A lot of the lights weren't working. Some of the switches didn't seem to do what they needed to. Uh, and there's a lot of noise coming through, but either way, it was neat to see one of these of this type. I don't see them very often at all. Here's something I've just never seen before, but man, I had to have it. This is a Video King switching box MPS 700 model, and look at the wood on the sides. Yeah, this is a an RF box for switching video types, and you know, I don't really need it, but it just looks so cool. It's got friggin' blocks of wood on the side. I mean, I do need it. I'm gonna get it. It's, you know, you, you can play video game on it. On to another Goodwill, and you know what? Whenever I step on the Lucky Rock, it's, it's good, right? So it's gotta be even better if I give it a, a little bit of a massage, you know, tap it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Let's see if it worked and head on inside, and hey, look, there's a bunch of computer monitors here, including one by Mitsubishi. <laughs> oh man, did this one cheat on its emissions too? Down below the monitors, this definitely caught my eye immediately. King's Quest VI, still sealed. Sierra game in really pretty bad shape, even though it was sealed. And uh, this is one of those cheap budget re-releases with a crappy box. There's no cardboard inside. Ah, screw that. Quite a few games over in the game section here. Uh, first up, I saw Pac-Man World, uh, greatest hits version. But you know, I don't have it, so yeah, why not get it? PS1 game, as well as All-Star Racing for the PlayStation 1. This is, yeah, you know, interesting nonetheless. I'll grab it. 
Also, I had Monopoly here for the NES. I already have this, but hey, NES cartridge in the wild, yay. Crap loads of copies of Darksiders 2 for PC down here, still sealed. And man, that is a lot of Sims 3 Showtime and other expansions. In fact, there's a ton of the expansions here and some of the starter packs and towns and man, they're clearing these out from Target right now, so pick them up while you can. So yeah, I ended up getting that all-star racing Pac-Man World Zombie U for Wii U, which I used to have and yeah, got rid of it. Rhythm Heaven Fever, which here is pretty good. Jade Empire, Atari Anthology for PS2, and Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay for Xbox. So that's some games over in the auction case. And pretty impressive piece of equipment here. A movie projector, I suppose. I don't know the specifics of it, but it looks neat as well as this Jurassic Park and ghost posters. I want that Jurassic Park one. And check out the electronic selection today. My word, there's a lot to look at here. So let's just take a look at pretty much all of it. Starting with the telephone, 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 telephone. Man, I love that design <laughs> and all that text. It's awesome. It's just a freaking telephone though. And Caesar's phone, I don't know why it's Caesar's. Uh, Etu phone, it's just, it's a phone. And uh, there's some cool tape stuff down here too. We've got a JVC dual tape deck here with some HX Pro stuff going on. I mean, it's some pretty decent qualities right there. And I would kind of like that if I hadn't picked up that other HX Pro thing recently. Down below here, this is pretty fascinating. It's C3 Record X. This is like a multi-tape dubbing studio thing, you know? There was a church we went to as a kid, they had one of these, it was green. And yeah, you just stick the sermon tape on there and it would just duplicate a bunch of them at once and stuff. At least that's what I assume it is. And there's this kind of mixer deal here for uh, cassette tapes by Tascam, and uh, that's really neat. I, I, I like a lot of their equipment, and man, these have got some satisfying dials and switches and buttons and things. More hi-fi equipment, Technics audio tape deck. Ah, oh, that thing looks cool. So does this Pioneer receiver down here, an SX400. Man, that's tempting. That just, that looks neat. I, I don't need it. I really don't. Got another thing lined up for, you know, Pioneer receiver goodness, but, oh man, that is one colorful speaker right there. <laughs> looks like something out of Austin Powers slash Powerpuff Girls or something. An interesting little boom box by Midland. That's cool. I, I, like, I like this sort of mix of aesthetics going on here. Got the piano keys, plus the different like actual switches and things. You know, those little tweetery speakers up top. That, that's just a neat kind of design. It probably sounds like junk. I don't care. Looks neat. What is this, a Miller Lite? Uh, light? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I, it looks like it plugs in or has batteries or something, but it's got, you know, you can put bottle caps in there. I, I, I don't know. What is the point of this? On the other hand, hey, look, there's some CRTs again here in Goodwill. I'm, I'm glad they're still selling them at this location. That's a pretty nice looking Sony Trinitron there. It's tempting. And, I mean, check, look at all these things. I mean, there's there's so many CRTs showing up again. I, a lot of good looking stuff, too. Most of them are like five bucks. So, uh, you know, if there's a Goodwill near you that's selling some TVs that are still CRTs and whatnot, then you're in a market for one. This is the time to get them. I'm sure they're just... They can't be around much longer, right? How many of these are still in people's homes? Another nice Trinitron. I've uh, got to say no. I've got to say no to this too, even though it just looks so cool. Look at this. A little Samsung black and white TV. It's like a 10 inch thing. It's, it's really clean. It looks really nice. <laughs> it needs more wood grain though. That's my only qualm, it needs more wood grain and it's 15 bucks. So, you know, I'll pass on it for now. But those dials, man, those dials. It's a chip and dip. Over with the VHS's records and stuff, see some A-Tracks here, which is actually a, a little more decent selection than I normally see at Goodwill. We got some friggin' uh, Alan Parsons Project in here, and some Van Halen, Billy Joel, and Fleetwood Mac. I mean, you know, some things that I'm almost half tempted by. I might come back later and get some of these, but not today. On to yet another Goodwill, because the day is not over yet. Hey, double thumbs up, bro. Right inside, mixed in with a whole bunch of junk. See, uh, something by the Ink Spots, their greatest hits on stereophonic tape. Yeah, this is a reel-to-reel -reel album released on uh, reel-to-reel tape, and uh, yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. In fact, I'd like to get this, even though I don't really recognize too many of these songs by them, but I don't know if it's working or complete, or I just don't collect these really yet. What I do collect, though, and what I would get if it weren't 
more money than it should be. Microsoft Flight Simulator here. This is like the, the MS DOS one on CD ROM, like came out around uh, 1994, whenever this one did. And that's, that's pretty cool. I, I would like to get that, but 15 bucks? No, I'm gonna wait for a price drop or something. Let's head on to the back of the store in the electronics, and oh no, everything looks different. It's, it's like a vertical instead of horizontal. What, what is this? It bothers me. The electronics are still here, but they're over somewhere else now. I did happen to see this though, a PlayStation 2 with a strange bulbous add-on on top. It looks super cheap, but hey look, it's got an LCD screen. I remember when these things were like all over the place. They were relatively affordable, but it made it like a portable DVD player, especially if you plugged it into a car at like DC uh, power. And uh, you know, I'd kind of like to grab one sometime just to screw with it, see how crappy the display is or how good it is. But yeah, not this one, I just, it looks like junk. <laughs> oh no, Elmo, what happened to you, man? Oh, Elmo's arms have been <laughs> like janked. I, I'm sure they maybe he's just supposed to animate or I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> it looks like somebody broke his arms. This is a buckaroo bank. It's basically a slot machine that is one of those sort of, it's like a piggy bank, except it works. It's like a slot machine, man. It's, it's, this is really neat. A friend of mine had this, like when I was, I don't know, seven or something, went over his house. He was freaking rich. He had all these cool toys, and this is one of them. I'm going to get this because I've earned it by now, dang it. And on to one more Goodwill before it starts to rain. And inside, I am attracted to this pair of Morantz speakers. Mmm, instant love. $45 though. Maybe a good deal? Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna pass for now, come back maybe another day. In the case below that, there's a whole lot more of these reel-to-reel -reel albums. Some recorded, you know, just randomly by whoever on like Akai tapes, but a lot of these are actual albums legitimately released on reel-to-reel -reel tapes. These are cool to me, that is. Okay. Ah, uh, they've rearranged here too. You know, these must be just like a May thing. A Goodwill is moving everything around, but yeah, the media is up against the windows now, which makes it all get sun bleached and stuff over time, but whatever. There's some Sims things in here, but not much else of interest today. Well, this was of interest though. Look at this vintage chair. This is a vintage chair, right? This looks like something Ramsey Bolton would like strap someone to to hack off their nuts and, and do weird things to them. Sorry, I've been watching Game of Thrones. But yeah, you know what? This is just, this is an ugly chair. It's too ugly for me even. And yeah, this store as well has removed their electronic section where it used to be and now it's just full of Target clearance junk. However, it's, it's still here. It's just been moved around the corner. Not as much though. I think they've just tossed a bunch of things or sent them off to the you know outlet center or something. I did find this little doohickey, which it just, it just got my attention because it has a big old honking antenna on top. That just gets my attention. This is just some sort of basic terminal doohickey for scanning uh, credit cards and doing payment options. And yeah, I don't know. Behind the Christmas tchotchkes, we've got a VTech learning window. This is a little computerized toy thing for kids, from like 1986. Uh, it's a really cool design. You got these uh, cartridge kind of deals, it's programs and overlays that go onto the keyboard there, and it teaches kids how to do uh, things with an animated dot matrix display. Kind of wish I'd gotten it now, but I just, I don't know. I don't need these things cluttering up my home. That's a slippery slope. Speaking of colorful items, check this out. This got my attention just because of the box, the colors, man. Uh, Ike Light Aqua Shot uh, housing for disposable cameras and stuff. That just looks neat. Looks like something out of a life aquatic. There were also a couple uh, Kodak Instamatic X15s just laying around nearby too. I've seen these quite a bit recently. I'm wondering if some collector just got rid of all of them and Goodwill is just divvying them up amongst themselves. I don't know. Over in the electronics again, I see something that makes my knees about go weak. <laughs> this is just a wonderfully designed, great looking piece of equipment. This is a Pioneer Stereo Receiver SX535 from around 1976 or so. Got that nice silver and wood grain on the side thing going on and the blue display. I would love to have one of these, but $89 in a Goodwill. Sounds like they just went on eBay and found the first price. And what do you know? I looked up on eBay in the store right there. The first price that came up with is $89.99. So they just priced it whatever they saw on eBay. Last but not least though, as I was about to leave the store, I see this curious cardboard box that says Admiral on it in the electronics section. And you know what? Admiral made old TVs. However, inside the box, it doesn't quite look like what I thought it would. 
and uh, I see wood grain. That's all I need to know. So screw it. For $9, I'm taking this thing home and seeing what I got. And that's it for episode 26 of LGR Thrifts. An interesting little haul today. A nice little selection of games, starting with Pac-Man World, Zombie U, Rhythm Heaven Fever, and uh, Jade Empire, which I didn't have this version for Xbox. Chronicles of Reddit, Escape from Butcher Bay, Atari Anthology, the first one for PS2, All-Star Racing, this sweet wood block RF switcher thing, Las Vegas Cheapo Casino, and Mega Traveler 1 for PC, complete with all the books and spiral bound stuff inside. This is really awesome stuff. However, even more awesome was Mobakaru Bank. Look at this. <laughs> it's a one-armed bandit, except it's a bank. So you just put your money or whatever in there. It's supposed to accept 98% of world currency or whatever. And yeah, once you get a matching jackpot thing, your money is just gonna come spitting out on the table. And we can't forget the TV, which was not an Admiral TV at all. In fact, it turned out to be a Gold Star TV. The same size though, like a 12, 13 inch, something like that, but it is a black and white TV. And I was expecting color, but you know what? That's fine. I actually think this is gonna make a really neat project. Stay tuned for that. I wanna hook this thing up to HDMI and like play some modern games and do some weird stuff in a black and white TV that looks like this. This I think will be really cool. So thumbs up, rock on. Can't wait to mess with this. This is gonna be awesome. Anyhow, once again, that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, thank you for sending in your viewer finds. Lots of really cool stuff in here that has been found since last time. In fact, I got, it's thrifting season, you know, springtime. So people are sending me way more pictures than I have. I like time to put at the end here, but here's a bunch of them. And you look at them and stuff and stay tuned for next time because, ah, man, there's a lot of thrifting to do this time of year. It's exciting. Thanks for watching. Goodbye and all that. Blah, blah, blah.